Okay, we're pulling up to a house that we just bought, uh, and uh, we haven't seen it yet. This was a house that uh, we got sight unseen because the price was so incredibly good that we decided we just had to buy this one. And uh, if we don't want it for some reason, uh, we have our out very via our inspection. But uh, uh, we'll know in a second here. I just pull up in front of it. From here, it looks like a great property. Uh, I'll uh, tell you in terms of the sale, but first let's take a look at what we uh, what we got. Yeah, I like this one. This is what I'm talking about. This is this looks to be so far like a very good investment. This is a 2002 built house. It's a three bedroom, two bath, one car garage, 1057 square feet under or just a hair under 11 square feet which is a nice starter home. And uh, from here, I think this looks like a great investment. So I'm starting to get excited, especially for what we bought, bought it for. We paid $39.9 for this house. So I, I know that's amazing, but that's some of the prices we were able to, we're able to come up with right now. And uh, so I'm, I'm really starting to get excited about this house. Let's go see what we got. Coming around the side of the house here, you can see some tropical plants off to be cut back. And uh, our AC unit is in place, has not been stolen. That happens sometimes on these houses, but we can see where some of the piping here is cut and uh, some of the plumbing is tipped over. There's a lid missing on there. It is down on the ground there, but uh, I would say we're gonna have a service call here at the very least and probably spend a few hundred dollars here and the EC system always needs to be serviced, even though it is here. So we're going to budget a few dollars for the repairs and servicing the EC and water system. We have a fenced yard here. And uh, we are missing some soffit work up underneath here, as you can see, just along there. So I would say we probably got ourselves a couple hundred dollars worth of soffit work to do there. But the rest of the soffit looks pretty good around here. Uh, we definitely do want to paint the back of this house, I mean the entire outside of the house. that make it look nice. They did have a dog kennel over there, kept some animals and such. But uh, overall, not bad at all. Nice brand new house behind you. So as you saw when we started, uh, you know, it, it's a nice looking house. It's in a nice neighborhood. And uh, this side of the house here also, saw if it's in good shape. So we are just looking at this area here. So far, this looks like a good investment. Let's uh, take a walk inside. Now, coming up the driveway here, we've got our garage coming into focus right here. Light bulb is missing on the uh, sensor lights, but that's simple. And this is a concrete block construction. You can tell by the ingress of the windows. Windows are all in good shape, no broken windows. Got a nice uh, big archway here with these uh, columns coming up front. Gives it a nice architectural design. Obviously, we're gonna need a paint job. Kind of an ugly color, but I can see a lot of nice accents already, like this tile out front. So that's eye-catching. Coat of paint's going to make that door look brand new. And uh, these outdoor light fixtures, rusty, probably going to replace those so it has a nice uh, fresh look. Roof appears to be good too. Our location here, we're in a quiet part of this particular part of Florida. and uh, But you can see newer homes in the distance. That's a newer home over there. There's four newer homes over there. And uh, coming into view right over here is also a newer home right next to you. So uh, you got some nice country feel and uh, a lot of newer homes in the area. Let's take a look inside. Now coming inside this one, I can see lots of tile. And the tile appears to be in very good condition, although it needs to be regrouted. I'll the camera pick this up. That's one of the things we inspect for, but I use my screwdriver here to point this out. That uh, you can see me put the screwdriver in there. Okay. So some of these are loose. So I would say if we come in and just regrout these tiles, reset a few of them, it's got a very nice look to it, and that's very, very simple to do. We uh, did uh, find some old furniture in here. Pretty common on a foreclosure. But uh, we have soaring vaulted ceilings in here. Light fixtures are ugly because they're old. Nothing matches, so that'll all likely come out and get thrown away. Uh, the vents are dirty. They almost always come down out of the ceilings, get washed in and painted so they have a nice fresh look. 
And uh, before we head to the left, let's go down this way. Looks like our first bedroom here. Typical garbage left behind from the fact that it is a foreclosure. Typical ugly paint job that's going to be fixed easy. Missing a ceiling fan there, so again we'll put all new light fixtures there. You can see that we have one closet door here, and uh, the other one is missing. So a set of closet doors, but I do see some wide crown molding in here, so that's going to make the house kind of exciting. Coming down the hallway here, you can see that uh, we got another bedroom here. What's left of a ceiling fan up there, and this is what I would consider an ugly linoleum floor. So this will come out. We always carpet the bedrooms with brand new carpet and update the switches and stuff. But we do have six panel doors, so once they're clean and painted, they should look brand new. Missing closet doors in this room as well, so it needs a set of closet doors. Our guest bath here, a very plain vanity. I apologize for how dark it is, but there's no power in the house at this time. You can see it does have a mirror with a medicine chest here. It does have a light bar which is dirty, so if it doesn't clean up, we'll replace that. The full painting is average at best, so the whole place will get repainted. It does have a one-piece fiberglass tub and shower intact that appears to be in good condition, and the toilet appears to be in good condition. Also, the tile in this room very, very nice as well, although we are missing a strip of tile right here in the hallway. So, after taking a second look at this tile, uh, much of it is, now that I'm in the house for a minute, not glued down, so it's very likely that if we can't match it, we will we'll rip this towel and put something in that's all going to match. Now that I see we have some missing there, we'll see if some uh, matching towel shows up. Whenever you do a match towel, they did run a border across there, which is correct, and this towel in this part of the house looks nice. Another old couch here, but uh, missing a uh, light fixture up there. Very common. Behind this here is looking out at the backyard. And there is a fence that runs around the entire backyard, which is a big plus. And there's your well back there. The grass was just cut today, so uh, that does have a nice yard. Now, to my left here, the kitchen is just your plain kitchen cabinets. So what I agree could consider nothing special, other than the fact that they're actually here, because sometimes we find these houses, as you may have seen in some of my videos, where the cabinets are missing partially or entirely. So in this case, we'd probably just uh, put some brand new knobs on them, clean them up, and uh, make them look pretty. We do have a microwave and a dishwasher. More than likely they work. We won't know until the power turns on. Have a uh, pantry over here, and then coming in here is a laundry room. And they did close this in, so it is an indoor laundry room. And then a doorway going out to the garage. That's a plus. It's hard to see in the garage here, but it is filled with garbage, although I can see the uh, the garage door opener here is intact. The air handler is intact. However, there's a large hole here in the ceiling, and I believe that's where somebody's foot went through. That means somebody's up there crawling around, and uh, that means we have to go up there and inspect to see if there is any damage up there. An old weight machine is left behind here. You know, we commonly find things like this left behind houses, old lumber. But as I turn to my left, I am very happy to see a pile of tile. If the camera's picking up on this, I'm finding all kinds of boxes of tile. So now maybe we can match that tile, and that would certainly uh, have an impact on the repair of this property. Now, coming back through here, we have the master bedroom yet to take a look at. And that'll be right in this door. We do have a crack in this door, so we will get a new hollow core six panel door. And coming in here, we can see they also tile this room as well. And just like the tile in the living room, it's not the best job in the world, although the camera isn't really picking up on what I am. It's a little uneven and it's all loose. However, there is wide crown molding in here. Missing ceiling fan there. And wide baseboard that somebody put in that needs to be painted. Do have a closet here. It's a walk-in closet, although it appears to be intact. Got our master bath behind this door here. While it's intact, we do have a shower stall, one-piece fiberglass. It appears to be in good shape in terms of how it will clean up. And just a very standard, nothing special vanity here, but it is all there. Doors, mirror, 
light bar, much like the other bathroom. So overall, not bad at all. So to recap, we've got to paint the outside, paint the inside, all the light fixtures, a couple of new doors. Uh, do something with this tile here on the floor. Clean it, fluff it, buff it, do a little bit of light landscaping, won't need much out front. And uh, I think it'll be ready to go. Cost-wise, we're looking at about $1,800 to professionally paint the inside in a two-tone paint. That's how we always do things. About $1,200 on the outside, so that's $3,000. We're looking at about $300 in doors. That's uh, labor and door cost installation. So $3,300 there. Uh, light fixtures, we're going to be about $500 in fans and such. So that's about $3,800. Uh, and some of the, we always upgrade the switches and stuff. So that's a couple hundred dollars again. So now we're at $4,000. This tile floor here, if we can fix it, we're looking at probably spending around $1,000. So that's $5,000. So if we can't fix it, we're going to rip it out rip all the towel out of the bedroom and just carpet all this area here. And that's only going to cost us about three, six, nine, twelve, about fifteen hundred dollars. Um, I'll let the uh, foreman make a decision on that because we want to be cost effective, but we also want to be nice the house is going to sell rather quickly. So let's say five to fifty five hundred. Um, we uh, have to consider the AC as needing some service and uh, some miscellaneous, I would say we'll be all done with this house for around $6,500 to $7,000. It would be market ready. So we picked up for $39,900. You tack another $7,000 on there or so, we're at $47,000. This particular property should sell for around $65,000. I know that sounds awfully cheap, but that's the market for this location. We might pull $69,000 to seventy dollars out of it, that's possible. So I'm going to give it a market range of sixty-five to sixty-nine, maybe seventy thousand dollars. So based on those numbers, this is a good investment. It's going to give a good return. I would say the market time is probably going to be ten to twelve days for it to go under contract. So this was a nice buy. I like this house. I think this is a good investment. Now let's go on to the next one.